everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a technical solutions professional at AP Elements. AP Elements offers one of the best migration solutions out there on the market, Fly. As you can see from this product homepage, Fly can migrate from all these sources into Office 365. This video walks you through the process of performing SharePoint to SharePoint migration with Fly. The first step is to establish a connection to both your source and destination. On the left navigation pane, go to Connection Manager under Management. On the SharePoint tab, click Scan. From here, you can connect to both your source and destination, and the process is the same for both. If your source or destination is a SharePoint on-prem environment, keep the Scan SharePoint on-premises site collections box checked, and enter the URL of your farm's central admin site together with the credentials of an admin account. If your source or destination is SharePoint Online, uncheck this box, enter the email address and password of an admin account with the appropriate permissions. You can find the requested permissions here for both on-prem and online environments. After you supply the requested credentials, click Scan. All of your source or destination site collections will be displayed here. Check the boxes next to the site collections you wish to add as a source or destination. And click Add at the bottom. Once this page is closed, you can verify if your connection has been successfully established by reviewing all the connections displayed here. You can then proceed to performing a pre-migration scan to inventory your source to see what you have there, what content to migrate, and if there's anything you'd like to leave behind. To do this, click pre-migration report on the left navigation pane and make sure SharePoint is selected from the scope dropdown. Click what scope do you want to analyze to create a new scan. On the SharePoint tab, click Create. Give your scan job a name and check the boxes next to the site collections you wish to scan. Click Save to manually run the scan later or save and analyze now to run the job immediately. Once the scan is finished, you will be able to see an inventory of your source from the pre-migration landing page. For more details, click Export Detail Report to view all the details in an Excel worksheet. Now comes to the actual migration. On the left navigation pane, Choose SharePoint Migration and make sure SharePoint is selected from the Source Type dropdown. All the source and destination site collections will be displayed here in a drag and drop interface. You can expand both your source and destination and drill down all the way to folder level. To perform a migration, expand both your source and destination to the desired level, then simply drag your source over and drop to the destination location. This is called a mapping. Alternatively, if you would like to create a new container of the same name as the source, drag your source to drag here if destination does not exist. Repeat this process by dragging and dropping source content to your desired destination locations until you finish all your mappings. If you have a complicated source environment in which the content you wish to migrate is all over the place and it's a hassle to navigate everywhere to drag and drop, you can instead use the import mode. From here, Download a CSV template. 
fill in the mappings according to the example and import it back to fly to continue. The next steps are the same for both drag and drop and import mode. Once all mappings have been created, click continue to fine tune your migration plan. Fly has a built-in default migration policy, which you can view here. Or you can opt to create a new one. Give your policy a name. Configure conflict resolution at both container and content level and optionally create filter and a series of common mappings as needed. For everything you create, there are examples of what information you should fill in and in which format. As you scroll down further, you can also configure advanced options regarding workflows, permissions, navigation, user profile. Click Save to create your new policy and use it for migration. Next, choose a migration mode and configure a schedule. High-speed mode uses Microsoft High-Speed API to bypass Office 365 throttling and is therefore the recommended mode. You can set a schedule for subsequent incremental jobs to run at your specified interval as well as a cut over time. When you are done, click Save, and this job will run at the designated time. Click Migration Status to view details for all jobs. Expand the upper pane to view different jobs in different status and the data volume migrated from each source. Collapse the upper pane to see job information. You can see the migration source and all mappings included in the job. Should you encounter failures or exceptions, download details and logs for troubleshooting. The job details will provide a report of every object that has been included in your job, and you can see if they've been migrated successfully. After you fix whatever issue causing job disruption, simply click Rerun to start an incremental job, which will bring over everything that failed in the previous one. Thank you for your time and enjoy your migration with Fly.